So, look at that. Look at that. So there we go, right, let's see, let's get ourselves another one bar, just to get a, a flow of how we can get these even three slices working. So, I mean, this is sort of ways I do things. Don't go and jack my style of ideas of what I'm doing. It'd be nice for you to go and try and think, oh, cool, right, that's doable with this. And maybe I could do something similar myself, but don't jack my shit, man, okay? Anyway, so... Four bar, one bar. So you get what I've done there is I had that just those three slices. I duplicated that, so I've still got the full version sitting. Taking this and thought we'll put a double on one s one eight pit sort of each. We can get a sort of, sort of what something we do with an NPC pad. If you will, just just tap it. So we know that won't work because it's too many, three's too many there because your snare's going to be here and here, which we have, where is that? I'll put the keyboard hook back up. Uh, the recording will work now. So there's a hit that we got. So we'll get to them in a minute. Um, for example, so there's, let me take that for example. What's this one here? I'm going to split that so the 10 is, it's got a wee half as well. Also what I've done, which I didn't show you before, was I normalised everything to start with. If you're taking from a sort of sample, our track it's going to be uh, it's an old track especially if it's an mp3 try and avoid mp3s because once you take an mp3 into a program like this and then export it back out and then as another mp3 what you're doing is you're j straight away taking it 110 for that audio which was originally created when you first took it and then you've taken it and then you've taken that 110 and taken another 110 for it so you're basically uh, i'm not doing the math you know what i mean but it's bad, so try and get a high quality audio as possible. So, let's see, we can just sort of play about these. So, there's a wee snare hit, so that's quite nice. What we could do, duplicate that wee second. You can see where you can go with this sort of ideas. I've only taken this two bars there and I've kind of limited myself to be honest in a tutorial to give myself three slices. <laughs> so what I could do is like from the ideas I've shown you there, I'll show you now how later on how I've actually done the track is the pieces that I've taken. I'll show you what I've done to them to make them sound as different because they are quite different. And I've got the beat there so here for example is the starting point again and what I've done there's two versions of it as I showed you this main loop verse is what I've sort of named it to help myself has nothing on it actually there's no inserts at all it's just clean it's what the hang it's just normalized there's no EQ there's nothing just so that's sort of predominant on the track but that and the second one which I did show you before was the EQ um, where it's just a, a seven band taking the bass so it's just sitting low on the actual track taking the two levels um, as you can see here it's just sitting and here they're quite similar the high one's just slightly lower
into that first bit there and it's uh, the purple piece here. It's got a wee, what I've had to do is cut it cut apart at the end here so it, it was out of time so I had to bring it on a grid and just pull it. If you can see the bottom bit here, there's the actual 16. Now it's slightly off as long as the actual loop is running to me it's fine because you don't want it to sound like a robot. I do keep my snares, my drums that I create and write in. I like to keep them on a grid so I know that it's actually sitting. Although some of the hits here, which you can see in the impact, are slightly off at the start so they've got still a lazy feel to it so it's and the snare's doubled up so I've got a two there that you want to make sure your drums are predominant especially when you're mixing it up and don't don't have anything in the red lights if anything's high and everything's sitting high and you're going oh, you've got to push and push so everything gets high Take everything down as low as you can, just so, I mean look they're sitting, there's a good volume in this track, you might not be able to hear it properly, I don't know if the audio's sitting right for this, but it, the lower you've got, the more headroom here, for example on this track, any of these tracks here, you've got to play with at a later stage once you've bounced this, and you actually want to master it, and that's up to you, I'm not doing a mastering tutorial, no way, anyway. So how these are all cut up, with no drums, it's a different track really, it's just kind of, you can get the parts here, and that was nice to fade in, for example that part. So once you've got these parts all set into a grid, and you've got nice bits, you're going right, that'll work, and try not to make it too repetitive, so you've got to start here some changes all through, there's wee different drum hits and then sort of break it up because you look and go right well I'm starting here at 35 so 35 plus 16 40 is 51 so you know it's going to be a like a 16 up to the 51 there although at the end you've left a wee this wee part here for example there's a nice wee touch just adding a wee, wee uh, reverse into the last hit so bring it in and then you've got the hook with the sort of vocal part of Taken and on that vocal you've got a bit of processing definitely again with the EQ just isolating sort of the mid sort of mid high fre sort of frequency you've got to remember your vocals and you're recording a track later on if you put an MC is going to be about 5 4 to five to seven but predominantly around the five sort of region so you want to try and free this up so when you've got an MC on it it's not competing for space in the mix you're not going oh I've got to alter that why is that high you change the volumes it won't make a difference because it's the actual frequency which is being taken by the other parts of the track so I try and avoid there as much as possible if even you try and dip around it so you can create a nice area and it does work trust me especially when you turn it up loud which if you're going to get your tracks heard and you want to get them recorded from the radio turn up loud it will make a difference to your audience so to be honest that's I've done 16 there's an 8 there's another 16 so an idea that I took was just changing it as I said in our variations drums back in so I hope that can kind of explain a few things and sort of maybe help some people want to use Studio One and want to get ideas of cutting up tracks and how easy it is to kind of do with this kind of method of what I want to do so um, I hope you enjoy it Tony Smoke, Shadow People Production, Glasgow shout outs to everyone in Scotland doing stuff man just keep 
keep together, let's try and try and get together more rather than bitch at each other, eh? And just try and get together, show what everyone can do and hopefully we can create a better scene and get ourselves out of this stagnant hole that we seem to put ourselves into and don't want to take ourselves out because we're too scared. So wake the fuck up man eh? Let's uh, let's do some music. Hope that helps if you enjoy it. Uh, get at me, I'll make some more. Peace.